In the Carolina kitchen today, topping a salad with apricot jam. Well, sort of. It's actually the base for a sweet layer of flavor in an easy dressing. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Sous Chef Joe Koenig with Rue, that is in the Hilton at Biltmore Park, is here with us. We're happy to have you. Thanks. What do Good you have going on over here? Uh, I'm just making real simple. Uh, it's called an apricot vinaigrette. Okay. Uh, actually, apricot jalapeno. Um, so we're going to start off. We just need like it's like four, maybe five ingredients. Real simple stuff. Um, we got these uh, preserves from uh, Claire. I think ABC's preserves is what her name is. We met her, I think, when we first opened. She was at the farmer's market, and she does her own preserves. I think she just does them out at her house right now. But uh, we, we've, we got this off of her, uh, this product, and it just we've used it ever since. So we, we definitely keep her busy. We order a lot of this stuff. All right, um, we can find her at the... I don't too. think she's there anymore. Uh, oh no! We have to track her so down. we'll have to try we and track her, her down. But <laughs> yeah, uh, so basically we're going to use about a cup of uh, the apricot jalapeno reserves. And, and if you don't have apricot jalapeno, you can go to your local um, grocery store and yeah, and find something very similar. Okay. Yeah. So we got about a cup going on in here. And then after that, we're going to add some sambal olik. It's kind of like a chili garlic paste. Okay. Um, you can find this in an Asia, in like an Asian market. Okay. Basically. Say it again. Uh, uh, sambal olik. That's what it's called. Okay. Yeah. Never heard of it's it. It's got a little little kick to it, a little spice to it. Um, it's kind of like sriracha, kind of okay. like along those lines. And now we got some uh, red wine vinegar right here. We're gonna add that in there. Okay. Kind of this like, vinaigrette's gonna have a little kick to it. Yeah, a little bit, not too much. Okay. I, don't, I don't. I mean, it says jalapeno. It just doesn't. Uh, a lot of people think spicy, spicy right away, but it's really not that spicy. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna kind of spur that up a little bit, kind of get that all mixed together. And then uh, this is just oil, and probably about three cups of oil right here. Okay. So I kind of I just add this right here, and and just the top on. I don't want to cover it, so just in case. You uh, never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> I've had a lot of accidents. Yeah, once I've had a one, you cover it yeah, from now on. Yeah, learn little <laughs> things here and there. Yeah, so uh, pick it up a little bit. Let's check it out. All right, let that settle. And as you can see, it's all oh, wow. uh, emulsified together. Oh, it smells yeah. great. Yeah, thank you. And then I guess we'll just pour some in here, and then we'll add it to our... We generally serve this uh, almost... We have it, like, paired with our uh, spinach salad at the restaurant. Okay. Uh, but you can have it on anything, try it on any kind of salad. And then how long will this uh, vinaigrette um, last in the fridge if we want to keep it? Because that's going to make quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. I would say probably up to a month. All right. So, Looks yeah. great. Smells great. Let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. An apricot jalapeno vinaigrette. Very, very simple to make. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.